Heidi Ho, my peeps, and welcome to another Dollar Tree dinner. This one is going to be relatively high protein with um, with some rice. So what we're doing, it's a rice and beans and um, boneless pork riblets, all from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to cook these items all together. Here, uh, um, well, not all together. The, the kidney beans will be put in later. But I'm going to cook the ribs and the rice together in this rice cooker. Now, back when I was a kid at high school in our cafeteria, they, they made, the lunch ladies made this wonderful chili rice. Um, the chili sauce was very much like this, um, which I've used once before in another recipe. But it had, um, it was slightly sweeter just slightly, and it was much had much more of a cumin flavor than this does. So I'm going to go ahead and season um, the beans, rice, and pork with um, probably I'm going to use a teaspoon of cumin because I love the taste of cumin, maybe even a little more, and then a, maybe a tablespoon in here of, um, of sugar. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, uh, I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do this on camera because you don't really need to see me do it, but I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pour my um, chili into the rice cooker. I'm going to put my teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half of the cumin and a little bit of sugar in here. And um, then I will drop these boneless pork ribs all, um, in for you and we'll turn it on. So that's what we're doing next. Okay, oh gosh, my light came on. All right, so um, I've broken these riblets in, a, in half, um, just with my fingers, they just snap real easily. Now I'm going to dump them down into the rice cooker, along with everything else that's been put in there. I, like I said, I'm not gonna put the beans in there until it's completely cooked, and then I'm going to use the onions as a like a garnish or or a topping i might even um cube up a little bit of dollar tree cheese to use as as a topping for this as well this is this is kind of a high protein meal so um you know might as well add some cheese and add a little more protein to it okay so now we're going to go ahead and cook this all up and i'll come back and we'll We'll do the final touches and give it a taste. Okay, I happen to have some of the uh, Silver State brand pepper jack cheese that comes from the Dollar Tree. Um, just like everything else um, in this recipe with the exception of these onions, these particular ones I bought at 99 cent store, but they do have onions at Dollar Tree as well. So um, you can probably find something like that there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cube these up into kind of smallish cubes and I'll set this aside for topping. Okay, our rice is done um, with its uh, pork riblets in there and its wonderful gravy. I'm going to go ahead and add the can of uh, kidney beans. And I'm going to unplug this because it's going to scream at me. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and incorporate these beans into the rice mixture, like so. Now, I brought out my little Limoges bowl that I picked up for, I don't know, a buck or something at a, at a thrift store. What I'm gonna do is transfer this stuff into this little bowl. So, um, hold on, I can't do that one-handed. Oh, look how cute this turned out. That looks so pretty in its presentation bowl. Now I'm gonna take my cubed up cheese. Um, if I were serving this in the kitchen, um, you know, serving it onto plates, I would just put a little bit of cheese on each one of the plates, but when I do something home style like this, I just put it all in and then this would go, just kind of crunch that cheese down towards the bottom so that first layer gets nice and melty. And uh, 
anyway, I, you know, I kind of garnished it all up in its presentation bowl. Um, if this were going to the table. Um, <clears throat> Grant is not home yet, as you guys, most of you guys know. And so, even though we eat very casually, I would probably put this into a nice, a nice presentation dish like this. I think it's, um, it's kind of a pretty meal. I mean, it really turns out looking attractive, I think. Again, I'm gonna just pushing that cheese down in there. I want it to get all hot and melty down inside the hot rice. More or less, see? Just kind of shove it down inside the rice. And I could have dumped it in when when the rice was still in the rice cooker. That actually would have rid of that. That would have uh, made sense as well. I didn't realize that my bowl was going to be quite so full. Okay, now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my crispy onions and I'm going to use them as a garnish on the top. So, let's see if I can do this, open this thing one-handed. Yes, I can. And now, now I'm just going to sprinkle, sprinkle them on the top like this. Oops. I keep falling out of frame with my picture. Sorry, you guys. I'm looking at my bowl. I should be looking into the camera. Okay. That's plenty just to make it pretty on the top. You can always bring extra onions to the table or cheese for that matter. And there you go. This is the finished product. Um, I happen to have an avocado left over. It's not quite ripe enough yet so I'm not going to use it but the other thing you could do is you could slice up the avocado and you know arrange the slices around uh, the edge of your bowl if you wanted to. So anyhow now I think it's time to take a bite and here we go. Let's see if I can get some cheese in there. A little bit of everything. Okay, that's my big healthy bite. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a wonderful hearty meal. Oh my God. That little bit of extra sugar made all the difference. It's not sweet tasting, but it's not acidic. It's not real tomato-y acidic either. So the sugar kind of cut that acid. The, um, it's very spicy, but not too hot. Some people would think it's too hot. I don't. I think it's mildly spicy. I mean, for my taste, but others might find it very spicy. But you could always use a cheese that didn't have peppers in it if you wanted to. So that would be one way to um, cut down on the heat. So, thanks you guys for joining me on this high, basically high protein Dollar Tree dinner. It is not keto, obviously, because it has the, um, it has the rice, but it is a pretty high protein dinner. Again, if you happen to have greens or lettuce or cabbage or kale or, you know, pretty much anything like that, you could set down a bed of greens and then put a scoop of this on it. And that would, uh, that would even enhance its nutrition. Thanks so much, you guys. Bye-bye.